Hey, greetings Durinos. How you doing? Me, I'm not doing too bad. I haven't been feeling very well this last week, having just gotten over a cold. So there's a few things that I had uh, promised to get around to that I haven't done, including a collaboration video with Hoax Killer Friend. I must uh, give my apologies for that. I have not been well this last week. Just getting back onto the tubes and just getting back into the internet. Uh, and this being uh, Easter Sunday, we ought to uh, tackle something a little special. So today, the Pope, why did he really quit? So as some of you may know, in more than 600 years, a Pope has not quit. He has died in the position. So why this guy? I'll tell you why. It's a fact that on the very same day, and the allegation is in fact, within 45 minutes of receiving a report on an alleged gay subculture within the Vatican, the Pope announces his surprise decision to retire. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know why. He was given a choice. He was about to be outed as gay. Mm-hmm. Count on it. That's one of the things that was going on in the background. Now, he says he had to retire because of all the challenges they're facing, etc., etc., but uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what actually happened is that the, you know, the ages old, uh, generations old network of good old boy, uh, etc., whatever is going on, power structures, is still there. Part of which was part of the Nazi culture in the Second World War. Check it out. As is well known, Ratzinger was in fact a Hitler youth during the Second World War. And he's made statements about the fact that, you know, he had no choice, everybody did it then, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. Who knows? But in fact, after announcing his surprise retirement, within only a very couple of few days, less than two weeks I believe it was, all of a sudden a new guy's in place. And it's a new guy from where? From Argentina. What was Argentina fairly well known for after the Second World War, or at least alleged to be involved in? Sel sheltering Nazi war criminals. Mm -hmm. And what is one of the things that the Nazis were well known for besides wanting to eliminate the Jews? Destroying homosexuals. Yeah. So, in fact, I think that part of that old network still exists and that Ratzinger was given a choice by essentially what is still a Nazi power structure with acting within the Vatican, in fact. And uh, he was given a choice, retire or be outed. And, of course, he decided to retire and keep a little money in the bank account and whatever power he could keep his hands on. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. You know, and if the guy was gay, so what? I mean, he couldn't just come out and admit it, could he? You know, not being at the top of a uh, culture that prides itself on hating those people for some reason. You know, uh, you couldn't suddenly just uh, you know reverse it on them, could you? And come out and say, yeah, you're gay. So what? You know, so what? Why should it matter? It shouldn't. <laughs> Ironically enough, it's their own beliefs that have screwed them over in this. Sad, really. Sad. But I think that's in fact what happened. The Pope was about to be outed as gay. Peace and long life to you.